Welcome to the second video of our series Tech Talk. My name is Anna and today I would like to welcome Alexander. He is the team leader of product management engineering services at RPG Automotive. Thanks for taking the time. Hi Anna, it's a pleasure to be here with you today. You are our expert for scenario generation because today we're going to be talking about how we can generate scenarios for virtual test driving with automated processes. So let's start off with a very broad question. What is a scenario? There is no simple answer to your question. It's difficult to give a general definition for scenarios, but we can differentiate um, functional, logical and concrete scenarios. All of them respond to different requirements. Mm -hmm. But to put it in a nutshell, um, scenarios are an essential component for modern test description. Scenarios include static elements, like the road, related elements um, like structural boundaries, um, walls and trees, and of course the dynamic description of all road users, um, like um, cars, pedestrians or bikes. Scenarios are a crucial component for virtual vehicle development and play a key role in virtual test driving. Today, everyone is talking about scenario-based testing. Standardization organizations like ASAM or assessment programs like your NCAP um, identified it as the development method of the future. Mm -hmm. This sounds like scenario generation is already a must-have in this day and age. Why is that? This is because the development process for driver assistance systems is changing on the way to autonomous driving. In the past, we had self-contained scenario catalogs to validate individual functions like adaptive cruise control, where the specification of the scenario came from the requirements for the system under test. And what has changed over time? Today, we are confronted to an open world problem. Um, generally speaking, the requirement for level five automation is drive me home safely. It means that we don't know which scenario have to be tested to increase the safety of our vehicle. Therefore, um, we can neither describe the requirement of our function nor um, for our scenario. Well, it looks like we are facing some major challenges here. Yes, but that's exactly the point. That's where we have to introduce automated processes for scenario generation. Now automation comes into play. What is the role of process automation in scenario generation? To um, increase the safety of our system, we have to create a high number of scenarios. Mm -hmm. Manual approaches, such as creating scenarios um, with an editor, um, are not adapted to the requirements. It's time consuming and it's a lot of effort. In addition, data for scenario generation is oftentimes already available. Mm -hmm. Common data sources for real driving behavior are test drive sensor recordings or accident crash databases. For that reason, we have to focus on the data and on getting the best out of the underlying data. When you are generating scenarios, what is the goal of process automation? Our goal is to allow for our customers to use the data the most efficient way possible. Depending on the source, different data processing steps are necessary to test efficiently. One solution is our toolbox called Scenario Triple R, which helps taking the right steps. Well, let's take a look at Scenario Triple R then. Our simulation software offers everything to support scenario-based testing. It provides a full closed-loop simulation environment where all the necessary elements are included such as the road, the traffic and the environment, also the vehicle with all of its subcomponents and the driver who controls the vehicle. The traffic objects and their movement can be adapted independently from each other and their movements can either be free, autonomous or maneuver based, so that all possibilities are given to define a scenario. Therefore, we need these scenarios for testing. For scenario-based testing, we should use as many sources as possible and manage them skillfully. 
In the following, I would like to present a possible process and our solutions for it. I would also like to talk about differences in data, the relevance of the individual steps and our experiences. We have developed a toolbox called Scenario Triple R. The three R's stand for Record, Replay and Rearrange. With this toolbox, we want to process data and offer variable scenarios for the simulation with CarMaker. On the left, we see a variety of sources for scenario descriptions, which differ in format and content. However, there are also differences in their features such as availability of data, effort to capture and the associated costs. Our goal is to analyze the data and in the first step to identify the important components, which are the trajectories of all traffic objects. I would like to pick out a few examples and illustrate differences in data processing. Basically, we are always concerned with using information to create the necessary elements of road, trajectories and environment. In addition, we need metadata such as the dimensions and class of an object. A high quality can be achieved by using sensor raw data, for example from 360 degree LiDAR recordings. However, it is necessary to annotate and label this data first to get the information to generate the road, the trajectory of the vehicles or the environment. For this application, we work together with our partner Scale. Scale is responsible for the labeling of LiDAR and camera data in real-world measurements. We use this data and the toolbox Scenario Triple R to generate scenarios for CarMaker. Here you can see an example of what the scenario looks like in CarMaker. I would like to add that we did not take the detailed street information from annotations but from a separate import of HD maps. Next, I would like to talk about accident databases. We support various national and regional databases. Another interesting aspect here is that these data often enable us to carry out different applications directly. On the one hand, we can put ourselves directly into the position of each of the involved accident participants, which is interesting when the accident causer cannot be clearly identified. Furthermore, the data often provide information to map several trajectories, namely measured and intended ones. The intended trajectories neglect the behavior of the real driver to avoid the accident and are suitable for testing the behavior of adaptive driver assistance systems. A third frequently used variant are object lists as they come directly from camera or radar ECUs. These object lists are error prone and of lower quality than the methods described above, but are more common. For this kind of data, we provide data processing, which enables us to improve the data. Improvement is needed because often objects are not tracked and when they disappear for a few seconds due to occlusion, they appear as a new object in the list. In summary, the different input data challenges us to process the data in a specific manner and make most out of it. We have already developed a solution for many input data and customer specific formats and in this context I would like to show you another example. Here you see four simulations, each one from the perspective of the Ego vehicle. The data for these simulations were taken from the Level Cross Data HiD dataset. This is an example of scenario generation from drone data. With this stationary recorded data, we are able to create scenarios automatically for all traffic objects we selected before. In the next step, called Rearrange, we enable the generation of variations. So far, we have only transferred a concrete scenario from the real world to the virtual world. To generate variations of parameters easily, a maneuver extraction is required. For each traffic object, a closed-loop maneuver-based description is abstracted. This means, for example, 
that the speed profile, like the one we had in replay, in, is decomposed into components such as constant speed driving and acceleration phases. The same is done for the lateral behavior, where it is necessary to detect lane changes. The advantage of this step is that it allows us to create variable scenarios, so-called logical scenarios. The process I presented allows to create scenarios and variations from different data sources. The logical scenarios are transferred to the data pool at the latest now. To integrate the solution and to control the individual steps, we have provided an API, which allows a customer-specific integration into existing processes and tools. This also enables each customer to determine the selection of the two beaver right parameters and their values according to the requirements management, and thus the customer's test strategy. Our goal is to be open to all formats and at the same time we want to guarantee the security and protection of individual property. At the moment we are looking at what the process could look like in the future, which further steps are useful and what solutions we can offer. For us there are three basic steps. Placing known maneuvers on new roads. That means they are placed into a new environment to create new scenarios with as little effort as possible and to increase the efficiency in the process of scenario creation. For example, here I have moved a simple turn scenario according to NCAP specifications into a much more comprehensive environment. Furthermore, we are working on methods to extend the environment with additional dynamic objects to have more challengers or to create new scenarios that will challenge my algorithm to make decisions. Here, for example, represented by a vehicle that hides others, the perception of the situ situation is complicated by a particular traffic regulation. Another point certainly is the requirement to create more realistic environments, preferably automated, as indicated in this video by buildings and trees. Now let's edit data with our toolbox. From our customer, we received an object list of a short sequence in a text file, which contains all necessary information about the dynamic objects relative to the vehicle which did these measurements. The GPS coordinates of the measurement vehicle were saved in a separate file. This customer has mapped the entire road network of his usual test field for the simulation and uses this data for the scenario generation. Therefore, he also provided us with a road file in open drive format. In preparation for this video, I have already stored the data and configured the import function accordingly so that we can now start with the first import of the data. Generating the scenario was successful and we now open CarMaker. We immediately see that it is a cut in from the right, while another vehicle overtakes us on the left side. The 3D objects of the vehicles were selected after matching the dimensions of the input data with our 3D model library. What is striking about this scenario is that, if we rewind a little bit, that camping van was covered by the SUV and it's not visible in the replay simulation. Based on the names of the traffic objects, we can see that there are two separate objects in the underlying data. We would now like to combine these into one new object with a continuous trajectory. We now have a new test run and see that the camping van is now a continuous object. In addition, we notice that the movement of some objects is unsteady and that there is, for example, noise on the rotation of the SUV. We can optimize this by filtering the corresponding channels.
This already looks much better. Now we would like to perform the maneuver extraction. No difference will be noticeable in the presentation of the scenario. Of course, small deviations may occur due to the abstraction. For this, we have implemented functions to evaluate the conformity of both scenarios. However, if we look into the maneuver description of the traffic objects, we see that all traffic objects were described with a variety of mini maneuvers. This allows us to create logical scenarios. For example, by changing this parameter so that we can change the timing of the lane change of object one. Here you can see my changes to the traffic object T1 after scenario extraction with only one parameter changed compared to the original scenario. So this was only a small excerpt from the possibilities offered by our toolbox. Scenario RRR has a lot to offer that was certainly very interesting to watch. Which features would you say are the most important ones in this toolbox? The presenter toolbox includes functions to process data from multiple sources to generate logical scenarios. It allows for flexible use according to customer's test strategy. So in your opinion, what do users need to get started with scenario generation? Our solution is open to different file formats. If you already have sensor recordings from real driving or any other data describing scenarios, contact us. We would be happy to enable virtual test driving with CarMaker. And how can our users get in touch? You can contact me via email I'll be happy to answer all of your questions about scenario generation. Well, thank you very much for the interview, Alexander. It was great having you here. If you have any questions about our products or if you have feedback on our new series, do not hesitate to contact us via the Tech Talk email address. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you. Bye.